Gemini, hello. Welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to just be looking at what do you need to be aware of when it comes to love. And a little bit more about the person that you might be dealing with. Not every reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. All the information that you would want to know about me, the decks that I use, personal readings, all of that is in the description box. All right, so let's jump right in. What's the overall energy for Gemini spirit, for Gemini? Overall energy for Gemini in love at this time. Cornucopia. So this is kind of like wishes, abundance. This is a really good sign, Gemini. It's like receiving something very abundant, blessings coming in as well. So I love that energy. What's the overall energy for Gemini and love spirit? What's the overall energy? What's going on for Gemini and love at this time? Overall energy for Gemini and love. Time out. Timing, patience, waiting. If this is not a Gemini card, I don't know what is. <laughs> Time is of the essence. So this is all about timing, this blessing, this abundance. It's going to be at the right time. Something maybe that you've been waiting for for some time. Something you've been um, patient about. We have mirrored souls at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. There could be a soulmate that's relevant here. Maybe that is the blessing that you're receiving. A soulmate connection. Or the soulmate you've been waiting for. The soulmate you've been praying for. Um, maybe you've been just kind of patiently waiting for... Uh, a soulmate type of person to come in someone with a very I guess it's not just someone that's special but more that it's the person for you because I'm getting here with cornucopia it's almost like it's a blessing but it's a blessing or abundance that's very abundant and fulfilling it's like you don't need anything else once you have that so I feel like a lot of you Gemini's are looking for the one and timing has something to do here. So let's see what we get with the tarot. Past, present, future energies with the tarot. So we can see where you are in love at this time, Gemini, and what you need to know about what's coming in. Past, present, future energies, please, for Gemini in love. Past, present, future energies for Gemini in love. Past energy, Ace of Wands, present energy, Seven of Swords, and wow, near future energy is the Four of Wands. So I feel like something in the recent past, whether you're aware of it or not, because I'm getting that some of you, I don't think this is something you specifically initiated. This could be the person that's coming into your life, they've probably initiated something, or this could be spiritual work behind the scenes, or perhaps without realizing it, you've started something in the recent past because I'm getting like a strange energy with this ace of wands almost like it's not completely your doing or almost like you're not aware that that thing that you started is going to set a lot of other things in motion so for example some of you could have been going to a counselor or some of you have been investing in your health self-care or doing a lot of healing or something Maybe you just started doing affirmations or maybe you've set some serious intentions recently. Anyway, we'll clarify this in a second. But the Seven of Swords, again, it's almost like this sneakiness. It's like something sneakily happening right now in the present. This could be somebody that has their eye on you without you knowing it, right? Like they're sneaking around, keeping tabs on you, but you're not really aware of it. However, the Four of Wands being in the near future, it's like there's something good to expect. There's something good on the horizon. Bottom of the deck here is the Emperor, Aries energy. Very powerful energy here with the Emperor. They have a lot of authority, very masculine energy, decisive, wise. Um, this is definitely somebody that takes charge. Uh, so this could be the person that's kind of you know, behind the scenes here, we'll see. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What do we need to know 
about this ace of wands queen of pentacles so again i feel like this is something that you're doing for yourself like i see you having some sort of glow up here gemini maybe you're doing really good at work maybe you're looking good and you know it's it's almost like you are taking care of something important with having to do with you i also get that maybe you've inspired someone like maybe you meet someone and when they see you they're like wow like that's who i want to be with i want to be with the queen of pentacles someone that brings something to the table tell me about the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here ten of wands okay interesting because this person cannot see where they're going they're overwhelmed burdened can i get one more Tell me about the seven of swords what's going on here with the seven of swords i feel like there's some sort of yeah there's some something here that someone's really busy really focused um overwhelmed perhaps has a lot going on right now i don't know if this is you gemini maybe you're just really busy have a lot on your mind a lot that you're dealing with and so you miss this Can I get some more insight, please, into the Seven of Swords? Like, I see someone having, like, a lot on their plate. This could be you or the person you're dealing with or will be dealing with. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yep, yeah, Four of Pentacles. Um, there's the lovers. There's your energy at the bottom of the deck. There's a few ways that I can interpret this energy. The Four of Pentacles is like someone's holding on to something. But, you know, I almost get like with all these other energies here. If this is you, I feel like you are extremely focused on one thing. And so someone's able to kind of do something behind your back or approach you and you don't see it coming. If this is your person that they're kind of dealing with a lot right now, then I can see that they're probably trying to figure out a way, a strategic way to deal with this. I feel like this has something to do with you. Maybe they're trying to wrap things up in their life right now and they're doing it so that they're able to have like their hands are not so tied up, you know, it's it, because you are at the bottom of the deck with the lovers, you know, this partnership interesting let me get one more can I get one more please for the seven of swords for Gemini why is the seven of swords here oh my gosh I got three but I only wanted one page of Pentacles wow and the five of wands with the five of swords yeah okay so there's something going on here Gemini um, instantly I thought of um, jealousy like you're being picked out of a group and someone doesn't like it. You're getting attention and someone doesn't like it. Others of you, I feel like this is someone that has a lot going on in their life and you're going to get wrapped up in it because they've seen you and they want to make you an offer. So this is very interesting because I feel like this could go in so many different ways. There's justice at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's something like official happening here like official conflict or some sort of issue that you get wrapped up in. I don't think that this is going to be um, an issue for long because the Four of Wands is here and that's all about stability. This is a mess. I feel like you're in the middle of a mess right here. Some of you, Gemini, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like you've dealt with some BS recently in the form of like dating or a specific person. And this is a huge distraction for you. And you might miss this page of pentacles in the middle or this page of pentacles is kind of mis mixed in here. Either you've dealt with a lot or this person that's coming in is dealing with a lot. Either way, you're embroiled in some mess. I think eventually it's going to work out though because I have the four of wands here. And maybe that's why the timing card is here because things are slowly going to be um, balancing out here. 
I also get the sense that if you're meeting new people, Gemini, um, it's like they're coming in at the wrong time because you're too busy dealing with something right now. And so it's like you don't really have time for them or you don't, your focus isn't truly on them. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? Wow, the Magician. Yeah, I feel like everything is going to work out here in the near future with the Magician and the Four of Wands. It's like this Cornucopia card manifesting happiness, uh, bliss, celebration, domestic bliss, happy home, happy life. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Why do I keep getting more than one card? Okay, there's the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, there's definitely an offer coming in. You have three Aces here, Gemini. So the opportunity for a new start is huge. I mean, it's all over this reading. I feel like there's definitely something new coming in, um, but I think it's coming in the mix of like you being really busy with something else or they're really busy with something. And so it's almost like all of this happens in like a whirl of like events. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely are receiving some sort of communication, I feel. Like maybe you talk to someone or they talk to you. Um, I'm, I have to clarify this Two of Swords though, because I feel like this Two of Swords is a symbol for like a maybe a, an, a mental block that you might have regarding this. Let's clarify that. Like you're not sure about this offer or what you're what's being communicated or you maybe are having a, a difficulty trusting in it because you're just not sure. It might sound too good to be true. Tell me about the two of swords. I think it might catch you off guard. Actually, I think that's the issue because you've had this energy of this reading so far of like something happening that you're not aware of. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Wow, the Fool. Yes, there's something completely new happening here, Gemini. It might require a risk from you. You might have to take a risk, a leap of faith here, and that's probably not easy for you to do. I feel you're gonna, you're, number one, you're caught off guard, but number two, you have to trust, and that's not easy. It's like you have to jump into this new opportunity without knowing all of the details, but I think you should take it. Justice is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, this is meant for you. It's like you're being caught off guard, but this is meant for you all along. What do you need to know about this, this person? Let me just clear the deck here a little bit. What do you need to know about this individual coming in? Or that you'll be dealing with in the near future. Spirit, what do we need to know about this individual? Nine of Wands. What do we need to know about this individual coming in? Six of Swords and Nine of Wands. I feel like they've they've been in some sort of difficulty. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're probably coming in after leaving a difficult situation. You might meet them after they have a separation or perhaps there's some sort of move that they're making in their life right now. What do we need to know about this person? I think they're uh, they're going through some sort of difficult transition. Like there's there's been some difficulty in the past for them. I don't know if this has to do with you though. I don't know if this is difficulty that Maybe you and them have had a difficult history and they're still affected by it, but are coming in anyway. Or if they're just having difficulty on their own, in their own life, and are leaving that behind. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy. Judication. So this is like waiting to make a decision, waiting for an outcome, waiting for a result. There's the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So I feel this person is coming in after some difficulty and the rest is up to you tell me more about this nine of wands and six of swords what do we need to know yep seven of pentacles it's almost like when they come in with this message when they hit you up gemini what are you gonna do 
You know, ball is in your court. They're nervous about the outcome or the way their message will be received. I'm not sure why, but that's what I'm seeing. It's, it's It could be anything. It could be the fact that maybe they catch you off guard. And so they know they're catching you off guard. And so your response might be like, what are you doing here? Rather than, it's so nice to see you, you know? Can I get one card for this person's energy? What is this person's energy towards Gemini at this time? What is their energy towards Gemini? Oh, wow. We have, I miss you. So whoever this is, they know you. Bottom of the deck, I'll be messaging you. Definitely. I think that's what's happening here. Someone from your past. You always get this um, message, Gemini. Someone from your past is missing you. Wants to talk to you. But I feel it's going to catch you off guard. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this bonus reading. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.